Hello you gorgeous people of the interwebs, I hope you're having a fan dabby dozy day today. I've been up to something, yeah I did it and uh, that's not all I've done. I could resist the call of the pink no longer, I'll talk you through this in a moment um, but I've been doing lots of other shopping as well. <gasps> I've got so much to show you, it's all just been sort of building up over the weeks. Um, I've got clothing, I've got homewares, I've got independent retailer stuff like independent designer stuff which I'm really excited about um, and just all sorts of things um, to share with you for me and the lion and the house. But yes, I could resist the call of the pink no longer. We've got a graduated pink, it's a little bit hotter and a little bit more bubblegummy at the front and then it kind of goes back to a more um, rose gold towards the back. Um, I wouldn't have been able to get the kind of bubblegum effect that I wanted to have all the way through without having a full scalp bleach and I'm not doing that again, I'm absolutely not doing that again. Um, but it's fun, I like the graduation in the colours. I don't know how long my hair is going to stay pink for but it is good to be back and the lion is really really enjoying me having pink hair again and I think that is probably because he can find me very easily in shops. Now the last time I was pink, hot pink or even the bubblegum pink, I was a little bit more careful with my colours and I basically ended up just wearing black all of the time. Um, but now I'm thinking Go Clash-tastic. If it clashes, why not? Why not go for it? So I'm not going to be as afraid of mixing my clothing colours with my hair colour as I was before. Been busy. Been really busy. Got lots to go through here. I've got a whole big bag of stuff to show and, and I've still got my Gucci unboxing that I need to share with you from before Christmas. <laughs> um, first things first, I did, sh when I shared my chop, I said that my straighteners had died on me and that I had ordered a pair of GHDs and I did get these GHDs and they are on the floor over there cooling down after having a little tease of my hair, still really not quite getting the hang of it and to be honest I'm not that impressed with the GHDs. I thought they were supposed to be the uh, the mutts nuts but um, yeah I'm not I'm not finding them particularly easy to work with and I'm also not finding the results to last. I did my hair when we went out for lunch with friends. I spent about 45 minutes making it look nice before we left the house. Halfway through lunch I uh, popped to the ladies room and noticed it had all fallen out. All fallen out, it was just straight so I don't know. I don't know if that's me or if that's GHDs and they're not all they're cracked up to be and um, so let me know your thoughts on GHDs and whether you think there's a better brand that I could be trying. These are the new and approved um, original ones. So these are reintroducing the original style of Love by Professionals that began the Good Hair Day journey in 2001. So far not so impressed. For those bad hair days I have got myself a baseball cap with this little cute kitten embroidered on it, this black baseball cap, it's a cotton one. This is a Candy Kittens baseball cap. They have um, released a new flavour and it's Candy Kittens Shocks Gourmet Sours and this is Strawberry and Apple Sours. Now, I was able to get a pack of seven packs of these and the baseball cap um, for whatever it was but it was cheaper than buying the individual packets and the baseball cap individually and um, yeah I wanted to try these anyway because candy kittens are one of my favourite favourite sweet treats but I wanted to try the baseball cap as well because I wanted to try one out before I went ahead and just put, ordered a Gucci one or something so I thought better try one out to see if it's See if it's for me. What do you think? Let's leave that to one side. But I did especially love that the uh, candy kitten has got little heart shapes on these on. Of course, it's pink. Sticking with the cat theme and something the lion found, which I had, I did not know what this was when it arrived. But it's got ears, so I think it's cute. It is ace to ace, and it is a cat fur. 
like a little fur thingy and you roll it and roll it and roll it and you get all the cat fur off the duvet and then there's a little thing in here and it all collects in this bit here um absolutely brilliant so i've used this and i have been like wow and he said when he read the reviews on amazon um, all of the people were basically starting off with wow this is amazing and I can attest it is amazing so if you have furry little fur babies that leave furry little fur everywhere um, I would absolutely recommend getting one of these it's got a really decent kind of face on it as well so you uh, you can cover big areas really really quickly I will link what I can down in the description box but yeah this was I didn't know this was coming it arrived I was like that's cute it's got ears what is it it's brilliant I love it I picked up another one of these soft bralette thingies from John Lewis and um, they come with little pads in there and to be honest that's the first thing to come out where's the hole because I don't need them so these are absolutely brilliant. No, they're not going to give you enough control and um, lockdown, if you like, uh, to go for a jog or something like that. But for knocking around the house and just uh, having a really nice cash day, then they are great. This is Any Day by John Lewis. And this has got a label of £18, but it was in the sale and I think I paid something like £12 for it. Um, this is probably my fourth or fifth one now because I absolutely love these i think they're absolutely cracking let's get into some footwear now and in the same order as the bralette i ordered these um from john lewis and barber have i mentioned we live in the country and wearing barber is obligatory when you live in the country how do i get into these uh, these are little ankle wellies now i decided to go for these rather than full length wellies because um a they're big and difficult to get in and out of full length wellies and B, sometimes my calves don't fit in them. They're just too much. They're just too much for some knee high things. But it's like a Chelsea boot. So they've got the stretchy bit here that makes it really easy to get in and out of. I've tried these on, I've run around the house in them. Um, they feel great. They feel, I was worried about them being too skinny from the wide feet, but they're brilliant. Um, I have just yet to go and play in the mud with them but these are excellent so I can wear these with my barber um, little puffer jacket thing and what else did I get from barber I can't remember but I've got something else from barber because I may have mentioned it's obligatory when you live in the countryside birthday present from our youngest he came to stay with his girlfriend and uh, where my family had bought me the white pair of Birkenstocks these are the Arizona Eva I think these are the really really lightweight ones these are waterproof and everything you can go and run in the sea and on the beach no problem with them and you can just hose them down and they are very very comfy they come in lots of other colors they do some sort of marbly effect ones I love Berkeys anyway and these are going to be great for when we go to the beach and then uh, come off the beach just hose my feet down no problemo we have been going to our local seaside town village type thing Frinton on sea quite a lot they do some excellent fish and chips there I've taken you with us on a little vloggy vlog around there more than one occasion and um, we do like to pop into the charity shops there British Heart Foundation is something that's been important to us anyway but it has become even more important to me recently as um, a few weeks ago I lost a dear friend to a heart attack that no one saw coming um, he was at work and it just happened and he was gone. We will continue to go to their charity shops and try and support them. Now, I picked up a couple of these bottles and their ticket price is 4 .99 each. And I just love the colors. These are Gwenny colors. These are jewel tones and I love me a jewel tone. So I've got these and they are going to go up in my room somewhere, probably over there because it's a little bit of decoration and I spend a lot of time in this room so I want it to look pleasing to my eye while I'm in here working, filming, editing, doing all the things I do in here. Now another thing we found in the British Hearts uh, Foundation charity shop was this. I could not believe it when we saw this. Uh, really couldn't believe it at all. This is uh, culinary concepts. Now some of you may know what that means. It is like tableware. I've got some, got some cheese knives and things in it and I do rather like the designs. 
And what we found, and it absolutely tickled me when we saw him, I thought, isn't he delightful, is this little octopus um, wine bucket, <laughs> wine bottle bucket. And this was £60. I did since look it up and the retail on these was £90. But isn't he cute? And we're by the seaside now, so um, his tentacles go around. Actually, I did read somewhere recently that the tentacles, they're not tentacles. They're only tentacles if they've got suckers on the end. Not when they've got suckers all the way down the leg. So um, correct me if I'm wrong, if I dreamt that. I shall be drinking a lot of uh, white wine from him. I will keep it in the bottle, but... Yeah, it's going to be good for when we're outside doing drinks on the veranda. Nearly forgot. There's this cute little kitty. It's just a little thing. And he is going to be the little brother of one that we were gifted years and years and years and years ago. And the other one we've got is opens up here and you can put a little tea light. So it's an outdoor cat. You pop a little tea light in there and then he just, um, he just glows. Pretty. And this was 2 95 um, just a cute little thing to go in our new garden. I've also picked up this cat fold-up carrier um, bag with a little clip on it. Also from the British Heart Foundation. Your usual kind of thing. It's a cute little design. It was the cutest design that I saw that they had there. And of course I've gone in without a bag and they didn't have any bags. So um, we we're going to struggle carrying everything if I didn't buy one. So picked one up, it's cute, it's small, it's got a little clippy clip so it can go on the outside of your bag if your bag is too small to carry them. I've got a few of these types of things now, just got to remember to take them out with me. There is a lovely little bookstore there. I saw this and it caught my eye and I thought, when in Rome, this is the Essex Girls uh, book by Sarah Perry for profane and opinionated women everywhere. And seeing as I now am an Essex girl, I thought, I wonder if, how many of the characteristics I may already possess that will help me to fit into my new location. Not a charity shop, but a pre-loved store, Arnoldi's. Arnoldi's? Arnoldi's. Um, is a menswear store and they've got lots of really gorgeous shirts and tailoring in their tweed coats and all of that kind of stuff, some little hats and things. And the lion picked himself up this beautiful Ted Baker shirt um, and it is new, the label's not been taken off it. The colour of this, mmm, we like, we like a lot. It looks great on him, it really does. Can I get him to do a mod shot for you? Can I bollock? I picked up this top in a shop called Peacocks, which is a sort of nationwide brand. I've seen it in a few places in a few towns before, and I guess it's kind of on a par with Primark. It's really quite um, affordable, low cost clothing. Probably not always the greatest of quality, but I did check over this top. It is 100% cotton. I really like the pattern on it. I did size up in this. I went to a size 20 instead of my usual 18 because it's got buttons here. And although there's a little flappy bit behind the buttons, anything with buttons and these norks pull open. There is a small independent women's store there as well called the Girls Wardrobe. And I picked up this Cardi. And yes, this is a brown cardi. Gwenny, what are you doing with your neutrals and everything? It's not just a brown cardi because it's got pockets and one pocket is hot pink and the other one is bright orange and the cuffs are hot pink and bright orange. Now, if this cardi didn't have this detail, I wouldn't have bought it, but it is super cute. It's super affordable. It was 35 pounds. And I do believe this is one of those little independent stores that um, buys in stock from, uh, I want to say Thailand, places like that. From the same shop, I also bought this oversized shirt in this gorgeous green, which I am, yes, <laughs> happy Gwenny. Um, this gorgeous, gorgeous green, and it is a massive oversized, oversized shirt with these rolled up sleeves. You've probably seen me wear this, um, but you haven't seen it all because on the back is this sequin eye and yes I do think I am going to wear this with my Kurt Geiger slip-ons 
with the little eyes on them. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's really nice and easy to chuck on over whatever. I've worn it with my leggings. I've worn it with my baggy jeans as well. Looks great with baggy jeans. I was actually wearing my baggy jeans and my M&S lug boots um, when we went in and I tried it on. But yes, this is a really, really fun piece. Um, I'm going to be wearing this a lot. We found this independent little store and it was an absolute delight that I went in there and I was like, oh my God, I love everything in here. The first thing that caught my eye was this cushion in these pinks with this kind of mustard yellow, um, it's almost like a cheetah backdrop, backdrop um, and these roses. And on the back, it's got this beautiful, oh, is so nice. This is by a brand called uh, Neighbourhood Threat. So I'll link them down below. And this was 30 great British pounds and it will go on my chair, my pink chair, my throne. It's absolutely gorgeous. You know when you see something and you're like, oh, that's a bit of me that is. Oh, I'm going to have to have that. And I picked up a few other little bits and pieces while we were in there. Again, this was an independent little store, so they've got lots of different little brands. Uh, and I got these bamboo socks. I love a bamboo sock. This one is by a brand called Bear Kind. 10% of profits are donated to help save snow leopards. I think they donate 10% to various different charities, depending on what the sock actually has on it. These are 9.95. You could say it's expensive for a pair of socks. But, um, well, <laughs> Versace, anybody, he's still not over it, he's still not over it. Oh, uh, I got this little pin to go on my denim jacket. I like collecting pins for my denim jacket. Uh, this is by a brand called punkypins.co.uk and they were, it was seven pounds and it says positive vibes on the, um, the front and it's got two little balls going and I thought that was just adorable and I am a mad cat lady, so. And the last thing, although I could have bought many, many, many pieces uh, from this is, oh, does it have her name on it? I don't know, no, it doesn't. It's this ceramic little jar, gorgeous, gorgeous, beautiful, beautiful blue, lovely, um, 20 pounds, 20 pounds. What I really liked about it is, is boobies. Yes, it's boobies. It's a woman's torso. I've since looked up this design. I can't remember off the top of my head her name, but I will have it on the screen and I'll have her website down below. I'm loving all of her female torsos. Now she likes to do female torsos in real kind of world so scenarios. So with a flabby belly and, and the puppies, they're not up here. They're where they actually are in real life. Kind of envision this living in the bathroom with um, little cotton buds in it. Oh, it's just so cute. I love it and I love that it's boobies. We're nearly there, kids. Thank you for bearing with me. I've got some Prada and Dior to go. Oh, and an OPI, forgot about that. Um, and then we're done. Uh, we'll do the Dior first after I picked up this new OPI nail varnish. It is pink, of course it's pink. Uh, it is in color Spring Break the Internet and it's very, very sparkly. It's almost like a bubblegum, not metallic version of me OPI uh, Pompeii Purple, which is what I normally wear. And I have worn this almost every single day since I bought it. And I bought it in February and I just haven't shared it with you yet because I wanted to do a big haul. Um, and I'm not wearing it today because I forgot to paint my nails last night. And you know how terrible I am at painting my nails. So I wasn't gonna risk doing that this morning. John Lewis was having a um, promotion. They were doing a 15% off promotion. And I like to pick up my dual skincare when that promotion is going on because uh, it's expensive and I want to try more stuff. And they had some leftover, I'm guessing this is a Christmas set. Look at that packaging. Uh, Dior does packaging so beautifully. Basically it was the same price as buying just the Capture Total on its own. Oh, I wasn't expecting this to be so, uh, I'm not gonna say velvety because it's not velvety, but it's kind of pretend velvety and it's white, which I mean, it's white and it's gonna stain so. Clearly someone thought that would be a good idea. 
this is what I wanted to try. It's the Capture Total. What I also got was the Capture Total Firming and Wrinkle Correcting Eye Cream. And then we've got the Super Potent Serum. Now I've heard amazing things about this stuff and I'm excited to try this because what I need is to become obsessed with another insanely expensive um, dual skincare routine. Oh, that does feel good. Oh, that does feel good. Oh, it smells good too. Oh, here we go. We're going to go down a rabbit hole now, aren't we? Now, I did say I'd worn my green shirt and you saw me wear this in one other video, but I haven't used anything else that I've shown you today with the exception of the GHD stylers. Is this, I mean, is that dropping out already? It looks like it is to me. Um, because I feel weird about wearing stuff and using stuff that I haven't shared with you guys yet because you're my peeps and you come here and you want to see and you want me to share and I do share and I'm excited to do so and let you know what I think about things and um, but it does make me feel weird if I go away and start using something and I haven't shared it with you first I might have bullied not bullied might have railroaded I might have said to the sales associate we'll take it <laughs> Um, without properly consulting the lion, but this is the lions. We went to Fennec um, in our nearest biggest town. I had a bit of a surprise because as we drew closer to Fennec, they had some pre-loved handbags. Yes, they had some Chanel, they had some Mulberry. The two pre-loved sellers that they stock are What Goes Around Comes Around and a Handbag Clinic. Now I did have my own a cheeky little Chanel wok. Beautiful, beautiful, oh so good and the lion loved it as well, but it was four grand. Wildly overpriced, I mean, seriously overpriced. There was a battered Speedy 30 in monogram canvas, wasn't even the bandolier, wasn't even the bandolier, it was knackered. But they had it priced at 995. To buy a new one from the store, I think is 1,100 something. Nah, it wasn't, nah. So I will do some vlogging in there, but I'm probably not going to be buying anything from there because it is just so wildly expensive. The lion did try these on and I said they looked fabulous on him and they do and I made him buy them. Normally with something like this, I would then go away and do a bit of research and see where I could find them because we were able to find them somewhere else cheaper but by then he had taken the label off and he was wearing them because he did forget to take his sunnies with him they are prada sunnies they are very cool i'm a big fan of these they are these kind of they're like shallow aviators so the lion loves aviators i love aviators i don't think i can wear them um, and he's not really able to wear the deeper ones the classic shape but this wider shape uh, really really suited him. I can't believe how filthy these are already but they are cool aren't they? That is my high low everything that I've collected in the last couple of months. I'm aware that that is a lot. If you are still here watching pop a little octopus emoji. Yeah pop a little octopus, oct octopus, octopus, octopus emoji in the comments section just to let me know i'm so sorry that this has gone on but we had a lot a lot to get through so i hope you've enjoyed seeing what we've been collecting over the last couple of months and until i see you yes you boop for the next video please stay safe be kind to yourselves be kind to others stay fan dabby dozy and bye bye